Karen. Um, I am here to make a different kind of video. Um, I noticed that when um, the new stuff came out, the stamps, how the um, masks came printed. And everybody's so excited, but I just want you guys to know that you can do that to all of your stamps. Um, I'm gonna put you down and show you how I do it. And then you can um, maybe do it if, if you like it. I used to do this for, um, when I did a lot of card making, I would mask and do kinds of scenes and stuff. So this is how I would do it with those stamps. Um, but we didn't get masks. I had to like make them out of cardstock or printer paper, anything that would cover up where I don't want stamps to go. So this is one of my stamp sets. It is the Queen Bee. And this up. And these are my masks. So what I usually do, but I cannot find any of my spray paint with all this cleaning I'm doing. Um, so I usually would spray paint the back, temporary adhesive spray. So I would just spray the backs of the stamps and then I would just take the, which, I would take the sheet that comes from the top of your stamps and I would just stick the whole thing right on there. Right now, these ones are not done with the spray. So I didn't put this behind it because I wanted to spray them later when I do find my spray paint. Um, and then you just stick them on here and they don't have to be on any order and then just stick them right on top of your um, stamp set. So I am going to show you the different things I use to do that. So I just got this bad boy in. So he's not done yet. So basically all you're going to do is open it. There. So you're going to take out your stamps. We're going to take out our masks. And this um, is when I would spray them. But just caution, make sure that your masks are going the right way because you don't want to um, make them all and then have to try and get the permanent ink off. You do want to use permanent ink because you don't want to have an accident on a project that you're working on and then have it all um, get a mess with the ink. Yeah, I didn't follow my rule of tucking this sticky piece of plastic. I usually fold the little top down so it's on the inside. You also, and I wouldn't do it. I just think there's too much risk involved. But you can stamp this all at once because most of them, if not all, match up directly with where um, the masks are, and this is definitely one, but I like to do it separately. So I'm gonna take my little sheet here. Maybe I should put white paper on so you guys can see better. All right, so peel off the top, the back, and this is what you would stick your um, masks to. So I'm going to get my little sheet. All right. So you're going to take the stamp side that you would stamp down. Well, first, without my um, temporary adhesive, wait, I've just been using two-sided tape. So you have to push down on it hard to stay there. And then I use my stamp blocks. This is bigger than um, my stamp block. So I have my Tim Holtz stamping platform. And this thing, I absolutely love it to death. I have the Stampin' Up one also. Um, in fact, I brought one of the little things. It's smaller though, um, but I just love it. And I, I'm just... I have a hard time with the whole 
using my fingers. I'm a stamper at heart and I just can't do it without my um, stamping blocks. All right, so what you're gonna do is we're just gonna match up our sheep. And if it's off a little bit, there's no problem because it's just a mask. It's not anything crucial. So we're just gonna map, match it up as best as we can. And then I'm gonna take the cover and bring it down. And then that's going to pick up, no, well, it picked up both. We don't need both. I'm gonna try it without the, the paper. And if I think you can't see, then we'll definitely change it. All right, so that's stuck down again. And we're just gonna match it up again as best as you can. It's not crucial. And when you pick it up, the stamp will come up with it. I'll pull that so you can see. I'll take my stays on jet black. And I'm gonna stamp this guy. Need to re-ink this, I think. Okay, so now that he's all inked up. Then what, all you're going to do is close the top and you just got to rub it. Now I know Tim Holtz doesn't sell these anymore and I've heard a couple of different reasons, but the one that makes the most sense, oh, well, let's do this first. And this is your mask. So just give it a minute to dry. But as you can see, It's like perfect. I mean, not perfect, but but now you have a mask that you know what it's for. Just give it one more minute. Actually, I'll put that aside. I heard that because another company felt it was too close to what theirs is. So that's what I heard. I do not have any idea if that's true. I, however, do happen to have, I believe, two new ones in the boxes, if someone's interested. Um, just leave me a comment, um, a message, whatever, whatever. Okay, so I'm going to take off my little sheep, and I'm just going to put them over here. And we're going to go to our next guy, which I believe is a pig. And to get this clean because it's permanent, I just put a little bit of soft scrub on it. Cleans up like a dream. So we're just gonna, again, just match this little piggy up. And he's got his tape on. So when you fold it and you open it, the only thing that should move is your stamp. And we're just gonna And like I said, you can do the whole thing at once. I don't trust my hand to be able to flip it over and make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. And then we're just gonna close it and roll. And the thing about these things is if you do it and it doesn't cover the way you want it to, you like just put it back down. So here is our little pig. And clean it up. I also have a couple little tips for um, oops, different stamps on how if you don't have a stamp, I don't know what this is called, a stamp positioner, I believe. So another way to do it. Stick that over there. Well, let me get my little pig off of here. And the tape up oh, didn't stick with it, but it, you can put another piece on to let it stick to your stuff. So the other way, like I said, I have one of the pieces of the Stampin' Up one. If you just want to go up and down, I could take out the whole thing, but it's basically the same as the uh, Tim Holtz one. Um, I have a little block if you're doing, I think I grabbed something that should have smaller at my birds. And since I've been changing craft rooms and then changing it back, 
to where it was in the first place. I really haven't had time to do these, but we can do one together. So if those don't work and it's bigger than a stamping block and I do have bigger ones, I have more than I could ever need in my entire life. But these things also are perfect for stamping words and stuff if you're working on a flat surface. And you guys are great, the ones that can just pat it down and it comes out perfect. That's not me. So if you have like a long, let's see if this has one, because I did just do, hmm, oh, okay. So I did these before and these um, long guys, all you have to do is, you can do three at a time and then you measure, you know, you just line it up with your um, stamp and you're good. And I mean, they come out great. They really do. Especially using a stamp positioner because you can see where everything is going, needs to go, all that stuff. All right, so let's do a bird or two. Oh, let's do a bee. Let's see. Let's do a little bee that will fit. And let's grab. But I felt bad because I said, oh, I should have made this video sooner. Look at how many people are so excited that it's printed. And, um, yeah. And what's great is you can do all of your old sets. You know, you can just have a ball. All right, see if I can figure out where this is. This way. And like I said, if you feel confident to take the whole set and stamp it down, you go. But you are a much better stamper than I if you can do that. All right, so I just take a little piece. And it's definitely easier. Oh, I am putting tape on the wrong part. Definitely easier than, um, a little more difficult than with the stamp positioner. That just seems to make things go by really quick. And you want to make sure you've got it matched up on the right side. Because I have been known to do it on the wrong side. And it wasn't very uh, neat and tight. All right, I guess this is too big. So I'm just going to take a piece, put that tape on it. Save that other piece. And you can just do it right here. Let's take this. It, and I haven't done it like this in a, in a while, but it is a little hard to see. But you just want to kind of, sorry about my head if you can see it. So we're just going to match it as best as we can. And if it's crooked, you can um, do it again. It, you know, it's a little pain to get it off. But if you try it right away, it's really no problem. So we're just going to go down and line it up. And there he is. Ooh, it looks creepy. Like, who's a fan of the, that bug mold? I was so bummed out because I was like, oh, well, that's a waste of a mold. But not everybody likes, I'm gonna leave that actually. So those are my ways to take care of your stamps. So we could probably do two, let's try that. So you want to make sure it's going the right way. So that means this guy's got to go this way because the stamp part is going this way. So I'm just going to stick that down and definitely using the um, repositionable spray is awesome because it stays on there. And um, oh wait, that's not right, is it? Yes. Um, using the repositional because it stays there you can stick the paper right on top the plastic piece and you just don't have to worry there we go we're just gonna sorry about that there we go so now we're just gonna stamp our bird and you know if you don't have black you can use any color you want but i think we all have black 
And then we're just going to push them down. But you could do it in like gray if you didn't want them this bold. But there is our stamp, our mask. That is my tip for the day. I don't know if it's called a hack. It could be a hack. I've never had a hack before. Maybe it's a hack. But anyway, um, so this is a Sunday afternoon. So I hope you're all having a great weekend. That's it, depending upon when I get this out. But really, it's so easy to do. Have friends over and just go crazy. And if you're interested in a stamp repositioner, I love it. Um, definitely just leave me a message. And these can be your best friend. They come in squares. And and if, if you've got a long... Oh, it's perfect. It'll change your life, ladies and gentlemen. Although I don't see a gentleman in my um, members. But I'm sure there's one somewhere. So anyway, hope you have a great day. And I hope that you change your life with your new... Um, masks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.